What is up guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem and we're about to get into this mission and turns out it's uh, old boy's birthday so we gonna just give him some flowers. I don't wanna waste your guys' time hosting the tea party. Plus there's kinda like no point if he's already like at my house. So, uh, I don't think there's anything we need to re-up on so we can just dive right into the mission. Suggested level nine, and we are clearly like way over that. Thanks so much. And I think I'm really bad at recruiting. Like I have to, I have to really look into how to recruit better, since the only person I was able to get was Catherine. But I think it we ought to get sight her. Soon, Professor. The abandoned tower those thieves are using as a base, Conan Tower. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago. That's when invasions from the north were at their peak. Back then, this tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You're very well informed, Gilbert. Please, tell us more. Well, I... Ah, you're joking. Professor, did you see the local villages? They were in rough shape, no doubt because of the thief attacks. They're not going to make it through the winter in that condition. If the thieves had taken Great up pillage in order bro. to survive, that would be deplorable, but understandable. But this... This is something else entirely. It looks as though they destroyed those villages purely for pleasure. No matter what their reasons may be, that sort of behavior cannot be allowed. Ever. Don't bother losing your head over those lowlifes, your highness. It's wasted effort. Sylvain... The thieves' leader... The one who stole the relic? Word has it, he's your older brother. I know he's been disowned, but... He is no longer a member of House Gautier, or my brother. He's nothing more than a common thief. Are you sure about that? It would be understandable to find the situation... Well, regrettable, to say the least. Regrets? <laughs> you must be joking. You know we're far past the point of regret. And it always falls on the younger brother to clean up the mistakes of their elders, doesn't it? Sure does. This rain threatens a coming storm. We must hurry and begin our war council before the heavens let loose. My thank you so much! Much appreciated. I have gratitude. Thanks so much! The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They are merely thieves. They have a hero's relic. Do not drop your guard. No, I'll drop Don't it, bro. hold back for my sake. My brother is going to pay for everything he's done. Alrighty, as you guys can see, uh, what should I do? Some people. I don't think you guys saw it last time. I'm on it. I'll cut These through. two, I'm pretty sure, are going to be like the MVPs of my team. Um, because I definitely just see us kicking ass. How far do we have to go, actually? We have to loop all the way around. Uh, is that the... Oh, it's just a road. Okay. So we have to take out Miklon. Wow, his older brother looks kind of badass with that scar on his face. He has Multiple scars. God damn. Kind of beat up. Stay focused. I'll give it my all. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love when this dude can just shoot through walls. Here we go. I'll go. She all happy go lucky. Here we go. Here goes. How far can you go? Ready. Oh, you can't even go that far in here. 
That's my cue. Oh, uh -huh. you guys thought you were up to something, huh? Might as well get these guys to level up. The sooner we get them to level 20, the better. I won't let everyone. Chest key. Oh, boy. The captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools. Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. This is kind of works out. That uh, kind of has me have to decide who I want to go forth and who I don't want to go with them. Uh, we're definitely gonna open this chest. Armor shield. Okay. Uh, I think because he's looking kind of weak, I'll probably have him fall back. But I'll definitely have you two move up. I think, uh, I think she has like a high resistance to Combat or can we? Oh, okay. Man, I had like the wrong guy. Oh, we missed. I guess that'll be pretty clutch for us. Where did the guy go? Did he run away? Or did we defeat him? I don't know. I did see like the EXP thing go. Hmm, someone died right there.
Here we go. Oh, Attack them from both sides. It's an ambush. That's fine. I'm pretty confident in our abilities. Let's see. Move you up. As you know, bro, slack. Uh, how far up can we move you? Looks like you can't attack. Ooh, that's critical. Almost did a hundred on that. Oh yeah, I have Captain. It's like the better uh, to serve. I kind of linked on to my guy, so that way she can get some EXP and level up with your boy. Loki gonna wait just like one more turn before I actually just like move all these guys and have them move with me. Okay, but just had to make sure that there was enemies gonna pop up back here. Ooh, she took somebody out. Till he's level 20, I must and uh, that lets us get advanced class. But um, I don't think I'll be able to get it because I don't have. Oh, hold on, yeah, I don't have the seal for it. Dang, bro, you miss. I didn't need you to miss. Oh yeah, that land skill went up. Got it. Good to go. Sword breaker, so we're about to do extra damage actually.
did not know she was slacking in level like that compared to everybody else. Feeling strong. Risky there. Oh, nice, we got that crit. Guess we'll fall back now and try to catch up with the group. See, does anybody die? Nope. Perfect. Level 18, okay, we're getting these levels slowly but surely. Another step forward. Here just to see how it goes. Oh wait, we can attack from a distance like this? Oh, I have a bow. Oh no, that's not even worth it. Might as well just heal up. Accuracy. I'll do my okay, best. Pretty sure that's new. 
Ready. Thank you. Okay, EXP. So, you think you can take the lance from me? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! Okay. <laughs> You see how that worked out for you, buddy. <clears throat> Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Uh-oh. What the hell is it doing? Devouring him? We're about to change him or something? Making him into something more deadly? Turn this man into a dragon? No, what the heck is this thing? Last resort. Oh, 
Wow. What the? Big one. Oh, I'm glad they brought Is everybody that here. That form. Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? Uh, hell well yeah. What I say. Oh wow. The power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Black Beast, okay. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight You have to break thing. a barrier first to fight the a monster? A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go. And that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while well confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to without the power flowing around them. They will not be able to restore their barriers. Mm. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be distract them with a gambit. Or just take them down before they can attack. In any... But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out... So, this is the power of a hero's relic. It has gone too far. I fear all we can do now is... Uh, first off... <laughs> oh man, I need... I wanted her to heal. Why the heck did they bring Ingrid all the way up there? I feel like she's about to get her, her salad tossed or something. Can we attack from here? So, it's like everybody's like up in his damage zone. I'm trying to see like where I can have these guys at to where they can deal some good damage or something. getting hella EXP from just like fighting the shield. Oh yeah, totally forgot about her movement thing, but let's move her out the way. Move carefully. She got 
got that level up too. Okay, good. We broke the armor. said you have to make it fall twice before you defeat it and that was the first time right goddess Arm. okay the that beast was... is gone yet Miklon and the lance remain it's over let's retrieve the lance and leave this place Miklon my brother Dang, I should have healed up with um, Oh Girl before I killed the monster. I thought I had more turns in me. Thank you. That man, his form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. It sure did. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Maybe. Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. Why do you I keep sending me on these adventures where I almost died? Happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People ah. would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of I knew you were sneaky girl and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Hmm. Yeah, well, I share if the same fate. If someone without a crest were to wield the relic you possess, they would likely meet the same fate as Miklon. You, however, have been chosen. You are worthy of wielding the sword of the Creator, so there is yeah, no need to Yeah, because my crest is the same as the, the church will relic formally that needs return to go the with this one. House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. Sounds good. Is your meeting over, Professor? Were you eavesdropping? I was just thinking about something. Professor... The possession of relics and crests has been highly valued in Fargus since ancient times. It's far from uncommon for someone to lose their ability to lead their house because they don't bear a crest. Just like Miklon. It happened to my uncle as well. The eldest child of the king, and yet he never ascended to the throne. All families whose bloodlines carry the crests of the ten elites are much the same. But House Gautier takes it a step further and absolutely requires an heir who possesses a crest. To that house, the power of crests is a necessity, not a luxury. House Gautier holds the most northern territory in the kingdom, and they have fought with the people to the north for many years. The head of that house is responsible for protecting that territory from fearsome invaders, whom they keep at bay with the power of crests and relics. In exchange for that responsibility, they are granted special privileges within the kingdom. Hmm. 
I believe the same. Ability cannot be measured by the possession of a crest alone. I believe that Margrave Gautier was wrong to disinherit Miklon, simply because he did not bear a crest. Still, there is always a reason for why such customs stand the test of time. Imagine what this world would be like if no one placed any stock in crests. Bloodlines that carry crests would dwindle. The metaphorical blade used to oppose threats would eventually rust. <sighs> this same argument has been made time and time again across the years. Both sides are at once right and wrong. I believe those with crests and those without should acknowledge the other's strengths and learn to respect each other based on personal merits. And that doesn't apply only to crests. The same holds true for lineage, race, faith, ideologies. If we could just accept each other and make mutual concessions one step at a time, perhaps... <sighs> Who knows if that's even possible. Everyone has something that is unacceptable within them. I certainly do. And I'd wager you do as well. Yeah, I heard uh, I wonder he got a little best, bloodthirsty uh, with the Discord people. He's the reason why like, to find a way to they were it anyway. all like murdered, basically, in a way. I think they killed his dad, and so the order was to like eradicate Professor, them, and he was you have down done there well slaughtering women and children and stuff. Task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Of course. Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? Nah, bro, I've been here in this meeting. I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh, no, no, no. What am I to do? Calm yourself. Right, keep yourself Seteth. together, bro. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. The story's getting good, guys. Part one, white clouds, horse bow. We don't care about that. Just gotta make sure there's not like another cutscene, an important cutscene. Ah, we got 5,000, yeah, because I increased uh, my professor level. What are those exclamation marks? As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister, Flame, has gone missing. At Dang, present, all we know week. for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flame is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flame. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Mm, okay. Yep, yes, Flame I has disappeared? Seteth must be beside himself. 
So, finding little Flane is our mission for this moon? Leave it to me, Professor. Chasing after girls is my specialty. So, Lane, even you must agree that now isn't the time for jokes. I hope Flane is okay. I've heard rumors about some death knight running around town. Sounds intriguing. I have been hoping to cross blades with him. Felix, please consider how Sedith must be feeling right now. In any case, we must start our search at once. Every moment matters. On your order, Professor. Let's try to collect as much information as we can. Good thing I didn't try to fight uh, the Death Knight before. I was kind of thinking about it when we encountered him the first time. I'm on the lookout for suspicious individuals. The only place I've yet to check is the library. As you wish. Candlelight. And who is that? No, it isn't. Impossible. Someone you know? Professor, to do. What are you up to at this hour? Your Highness, my apologies. Oh, none necessary. I'm sorry for startling you. I was just doing some research. But I'm just about finished. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. We'd better head back to our quarters to do. Until tomorrow, Professor. Well, most uh, unusual. That was a little suspicious. Whatever could he have been looking for so late at night? Hmm? That book is quite askew. He must have rushed to put it back upon the shelf. Let's go check it out. It seems to be a record of donations from nobility. Arundel. That's not a name I know. But look at that. This Arundel gave quite a sum each year. That is, until the year 1174. He must have died or fallen to financial woe. Hmm. I can't imagine what this has to do with Flame. okay great guys i'm gonna end off this episode here hope you enjoyed that battle was decently uh difficult i'll say it was interesting for the monster i don't think i've ever seen that before in a fire emblem game then again i haven't played them all so that might be something that's like reoccurring and they just brought it back but i don't remember it in awakening at all but guys, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video, helps out the video, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You won't regret it. But with that said, guys, take it easy. Later.